Hey all, so I wanted to do a client makeup tutorial today, um, so I went ahead and started off by prepping the skin. I cleansed it with some micellar water and went in with a Sephora Glow Peel Pad. Um, she had a little bit of dry patches, so I wanted to exfoliate that. And then I went in with the Mario Badescu uh, Rose Water Spray and the Embryo Lease Moisturizer. Since I'm doing a pink shadow look, I wanted to go ahead and prime the eyes with a concealer and I just set that with a powder just to make sure that there wasn't any creasing. So I'm using the ABH Modern Renaissance palette for this look and I start off with the color Bona Fresca to start kind of like mapping out like for a halo eye um, and then I go in with the color Love Letter and just start building that up kind of like back and forth blending it you know building up Love Letter. Um, I dip in a little bit to Venetian Red and build that up as well but I'm mostly fo focusing on the color Love Letter and you know building that up. Then I'll also go in with the color Red Ochre and put a little bit of that but you'll kind of see me focusing more of the red um ochre on like closer to the lash line I guess you can say but yeah just kind of like going back and forth and building all that up I also took a uh, like a whitish cream shadow and buffed that under the brow bone and just kind of blended everything out just so there's like not like any like harsh lines or anything like that Then I went in with the ABH uh, primer and I put that on the center of the lid and went in with the color um, Starry Eyed from Makeup Geek, which is one of their foil shadows. I really like this color. First I was like, wow, this is, this is looking a little light. It looks a little weird. But then I kind of just, you know, obviously went in with um, the shade Love Letter again from the ABH palette and, you know, blended out like the edges and just made sure everything blend. Um, and again, I went in with the color uh, Red Orchard as well. Now I'm just going in with my Inglot Gel 77 liner. Um, this liner is amazing unless you get it on you or get it on something, then it's a disaster. But then I'm just also putting some mascara on and prepping for some eyelashes. These eyelashes I get from AliExpress. They're really nice because they're nice and fluffy. The band isn't too thick and they're not too big where you're not gonna see like the eye look that you just created. Now I'm going in with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This is a really nice primer to kind of have a little glow to the skin, especially if you have a little bit more um, drier skin, this is really nice. And then I'm using the Face Atelier Foundation, uh, more so focusing that on her forehead because this is really nice for people with like a little bit of drier skin and she did have a little bit more um, dryness on her forehead. And now I'm going in with the Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick. Next I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and blending that out and setting it with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Um, and then I'm going to be going in with the Kylie Cosmetics Bronzer and I believe the shade is Almond. Um, really just kind of like bronzing up her skin and adding warmth back to it. I don't really contour my clients unless they specifically ask me to. I really just enjoy bronzing them. Um, 
I don't know, it's just personal preference. But then I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Complexion Booster and I put that kind of like on her cheekbones in replace of a highlight. I really have been loving doing this. It gives such a natural like glow to the skin and it makes your skin look like skin. How many times can I say that? And then I go in with the MAC Dainty Blush and then kind of like go back and forth between the blush and the bronzer and then I buff everything in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish um, powder. It makes the skin look amazing. Now I'm just taking a nude eyeliner and I'm putting it on her waterline and then uh, using the color Love Letter underneath her lash line as well as some of the Red Orchard color. Um, again, just kind of like, you know, evening that out. And then I'll just go in on a fan brush and do some bottom mascara and kind of put a little bit of mascara on the top of the lashes. I'm just going to finish off by putting um, a little bit of brow product in her and then putting a lip and she is done. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you enjoy the talk through portion of it. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are interested in more of these videos. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you want. If not, I'm not offended, but yeah. <laughs>